Hi guys, Dr. Cotter here again, and today I'm going to start working on the honor band music. So first up is the A flat scale in thirds, yay! Um, this, this pattern in this particular book, the way it's presented, um, has a built-in problem that you can maybe spend two weeks of hard work to uh, learn to play in the key whatever one you're in, whether it's G, A flat, D flat, whatever. Or you could try to play all those accidentals, which I don't know about you, but tend to hurt my brain, you know? So I would suggest learning the key of A flat. So in your order of flats, which is B, E, A, D, G, C, F, B, greatest common factor, you take all the notes up to the name of the scale plus one more. So it's B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat which tells you that every single B, E, A, or D in this exercise is flat, whether it has a flat next to it or not. The problem with the way it's written down is they use accidentals, which means you have to remember to carry all the accidentals over throughout the measure. Um, and they get long. I mean, the measures just get long and there's a lot of flats. In your first measure, you have one, two, three, four, Four, five flats written down and one, two more that are just supposed to be remembered. Um, and that's just one measure. So if you can learn to play in the key of A flat, this exercise actually gets a whole lot easier. The next hard part in this exercise is the second measure, the one that starts on open G. Um, the reason this is difficult is that you have to be prepared to play that first um, middle D flat. So when you're playing, it starts on open G, B flat, A flat, C, which is all great. Then it goes down to B flat, and then this finger has got to take the D flat right here. Why, Dr. Zerfelli? Well, because you're gonna change keys C over here so you can play the E flat here. 90% of us will only have one E flat key, but we have two C keys, two uh, C sharp keys, two B keys. So we have to prepare for that E flat, which tells you again that your first D flat has got to be right here, okay? Then from here, you just alternate pinkies, C, E flat, D flat, okay, right there. Now you'll notice here, I have an extra E flat key, but why bother playing that when you can easily get around it the way everybody else does? Okay, the good thing is, once you get that measure, you're good to go because on the way down, you hit that E flat first and then you just trade pinkies. Okay, you gotta trade, no sliding involved here. Okay, that's, good. that's gonna be much more difficult and it will slow you down. Remember the object is to play these well and fast. The next thing that you need to do while you're playing these is make sure that you're blowing with really good air, which means enough air speed that the notes don't get stuck, good reads so the notes don't get stuck, and you blow across the mouthpiece, across the reed. You don't wanna go down like this because then you're gonna blow down. I am going to ignore the phone. And then you blow across. So here's the difference. I wasn't playing any differently than just moving my head and the airstream was exactly the same. So when you're playing, blow straight across and take your time learning. You might want to mark the the C, the right hand, or not C, the D flat, the right hand D flat first, and then just be prepared that it's uh, E flat is first coming down and you just trade back and forth. So here's what it sounds like. I'm going to play it slow so that if you guys wanted to, you could play with me. You could just rewind this and play. Um, just so you know, we're starting at about 412. <laughs> right out here there. Um, what you want to be able to do in your first step is just learn the fingerings, then get it to where you can play it all in one breath without any problem, then put the metronome on it. Find out how fast that is for you. So find one that you can tap your tempo so you know where you're going to start and then move it up by maybe two clicks every other day. 
you do that, then you're going to be playing these things at a very competitive tempo for state. Okay. Next week, I will do the thirds or the arpeggios. And I have a ton of stuff to say on that. So keep sharing the video so that we get more and more hits. That way they're easier to find. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.